get ready to work out of the box with Airfly. With Airfly, you have a full featured desktop controller for live switching. And we've made a special keypad version for ATEM, for VMix, and for TriCaster at a very competitive price point. So if you're looking for an out of the box control solution for ATEM, VMix, or TriCaster, this video is for you. On the Airfly, you have 61 dimmable RGB backlit elastomer keys, and they are divided into sections. There's a 12 key bus row labeled for switching. There's also a function selector row here. There are programmable buttons with OLED displays and beneath that RGB multi-level metering LEDs. And over here we have a Kia layer section with all essential controls and below that there is an ME section with user keys. And finally you get a low profile durable transition fader right here. And they come pre-configured so all that you need to do is to set up the IP address. Your Airfly does not have to be limited to just controlling your switcher system. For instance, you could take advantage of the row of OLED buttons to gain control of other devices like a video router or a piece of software on your computer. Now I want to show you how the Airfly can be such a powerful package for controlling your ATEM switcher. We have brought up the ATEM software control so you can see the changes I'm doing on the Airfly is also reflected in the software. They are both connected to the same ATEM switcher. Obviously, Obviously, this is the preview row. So as I'm pressing these buttons, you can see I'm changing the preview source. I can also cut directly to program. If I press over here, this is a cut button. So we have a cut immediately. And that was the auto um, function. I can also go fade to black. You see fade to black is active now. I can go back again. We are now uh, are out of fade to black once again. I can also use the slider to make a transition. The shift key over here will enable me to access sources which are not immediately active here. So for instance, I can choose this one and you see this is uh, input source number 11. So that's of course what the shift key gives you. But the real power is when you look at the functions up on the top side. Now first let's look at the Kia section over here. So these two are downstream Kia 1 and 2 and you see the labels on the Airfly will tell you exactly that. This is why this is the ATEM version of the Airfly. It comes with a keypad that has labels that fits ATEM switches, okay? And up here, I can cut the downstream key on and off. I can also execute an auto on the downstream key. And just next to, I have the same for the upstream key. So now I'm setting upstream keys on ME1 by these buttons. And this is actually a composite functions. The auto for the upstream keys is a combination of multiple actions in the ATEM that we have made super easy on this single button. All right, let's look at the function keys here because this will unlock a lot of power you have never dreamed about. So if I press the aux button, it means that these two rows are now converted into choosing sources for auxiliary number one and two. And it's even shown up here, so you have all six auxiliaries on this ATEM2ME. So you see in this little display, it says camera number one, and it corresponds with what is selected on the preview row, which is currently converted to selecting sources on auxiliary one. I press two, you see it says test two. Test two, by the way, is the label that we applied for camera number one in the ATEM switcher. So it picks up that label from the system over there. And uh, if I press the upper row, you see I do the same for auxiliary two. But you know what the really cool thing is? These are four-way buttons. So if you go to auxiliary three right there, it says super source currently. But if I'm pressing the sides on this button, you can see I'm cycling through. I can go all the way down to all my input sources. And if I press on the left edge, I'm moving forward again. Four-way buttons, guys. This is a binary joystick. The, the buttons are simply pressure sensitive on the edges and allowing you to turn it into an encoder, essentially. So that's really cool. And it's the same for the other ones. So if I go here, media player selection, Media player one and two, I could use these buttons, but I didn't load anything into the media player bank, so I'm not able to do it right here. Kia, I can select sources for my Kia. So once again, in this little display, I can see this is the fill source and I can again cycle forth and back. If I go to macro, I can execute macros. Let me see, if I hold down the shift key, yes, it goes to macro seven up to 12. So it just goes on like that. You see those layers in the Airfly is really, really deep. And this function selector key with clear labels on the keys that tells you what you get enables all of this. 
Guess what? On the audio, I can actually enable and disable audio sources. So here you have a toggle function for audio, right? And up here, I can even adjust the volume of these audio um, inputs. So I see the volume for number one, I press and hold, and you can see how it is actually turning up the volume of the audio source. I can turn it down here once again, all because of four-way buttons. I go to DVE, I have access to the internal digital video effect processor to adjust the XY position and the, um, the size of the XY. And I can go to user, which is kind of a reserved button for all your fancy additions that you can now plug onto these keys. This is why they are blank. Over here, very basic, we can select which transition pattern we are using and we can also work with the uh, preview transition function that you find in, in the main panel. So that's a quick walkthrough of how much you can do on an ATEM switcher with your AFLI. We also integrate with PDC cameras and currently we support more than 30 different camera brands and models. While the AirFly does not have a joystick, unlike our dedicated PDC controllers, you can still use the AirFly to control a camera by taking advantage of the four-way button functionality. So here is the VMAX version of AirFly and I've added a PDC camera to this one. So up here on these buttons, I have control of the NewTek PDC camera by the four-way buttons. So look at this one. I press the left edge and I'm panning to the left. I can pan to the right. I can tilt up and I can tilt down. And I can also control the zoom in the same way. Over here, I have preset recall keys, which are super useful in church settings or school settings to recall specific um, compositions of the image and I can even store a preset on the controller if I want. So let's say I move into this position, I zoom a little bit, I want to store that. So I just press and hold and when the key lights up green, I have now stored that preset. Look at this, I recall that one and I go back to the previous. So that was Pantel Zoom Control and of course in this case controlling vMix, I have the control of the six current sources inside vMix, either directly to program or active as it's called and preview. I can make a fade. I can also select which layer in vMix overlay that I want to enable on these buttons. So this is the AirFly controlling a vMix including buttons for live uh, and record functions up here. If you want to learn more about what you can do with your AirFly, then follow us on YouTube where we release videos that explain functionality and highlight new features that we develop. You can also subscribe to our newsletters where we keep you updated on the latest news. And finally, our sales and support team are happy to answer all your questions that you might have. You can find all the links in the description. Have a nice day.